Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines in the City of Knights Helm. This is Kuros Paladin and we're looking at Cologne Cathedral here with that beautiful moon moving overhead and uh, the Aurora Borealis overhead. Isn't that a beautiful... just actually, you know what? I do need some more title cards. Let's go ahead and get a screenshot of that. Um, because I'm actually running out of title cards to put on these episodes. So anyhow, um, we're back here, as of course I said, in the City of Night's Helm, uh, just moments after the last episode, of course, and we had just finished out here. I went ahead and I filled in, uh, created a district here called a Tempest Key, um, and I also went over here, and just at the end of the last episode, um... Uh, uh, what is the name of this place? Emerson Forestry Area had just gone up to level 2. So uh, let's go ahead and check out what we can put in here now that we've got that. So our new things are uh, a sapling greenhouse. We already had the sawmill. Now we have a biomass, biomass pellet plant which gives us paper. Um, a log yard which is just stored storage and a sawdust storage um, for restoring raw forest products and that's all that that does so uh, we are I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put down this paper mill um, it does have to be in the forestry area so what I'm actually gonna do is let's go back to the district tool we're gonna go here we're gonna expand Emerson forest we're gonna come out actually what the heck we're just gonna paint um, all of this industry, even though it doesn't have any impact on it, I don't think. I'm just going to have a paint all of it um, as a forestry area. So we're cutting right into the blight there. Yikes. Um, hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I maybe I got a little overzealous there. Um, let's go ahead and we'll just go ahead and take it right to the road. There, okay. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put that sawmill down. It just has to be somewhere in here. It doesn't have to be on the part that has lumber. So we'll go ahead and drop it right there. I'm sorry, not sawmill, paper mill. And if I'm reading this, what is the difference between... I don't think there's any difference except for capacity. Yeah, that's all it is. It's just capacity. Okay. So we'll leave it as it is right now. We will not put another uh, storage area in because we already have one storage right here. So And it's already at 70% full. So it's losing money, but that's because we just... There we go. Now it's making a little bit of money. And uh, the paper mill will come on eventually, online eventually, and that should help out a little bit. Copper District, not doing too bad at 9,400. I don't know what good is. And then, where is it? Royal Refinery, 22,000. Holy moly. That's all. In fact, that's pretty much, that is the, uh, wow, okay. We can thank Royal Refinery for keeping us in the green. <laughs> um, okay, so. Wow, Royal Refinery is doing well. I wonder what I did there. I had to figure that out. How, how did I make that work so well? Okay, well, anyhow. Uh, oh, we had an issue with heat, it looks like, but that's taken care of. The temperature is going up. What does our overall heating look like? Yeah, we're hovering. Let's put down a couple more um, geothermal plants. I think over here is a good spot for them in the blight. In fact, I think this would be a very good spot for them. So let's just put, except I want the this road, straight off of that. We'll just put this. Um, and then how big are they? So if I go this way, because I don't want them off of that road. So right at that street light there. Yep, okay. Right there. Go this way a little bit, and now we can put down, we'll just put down a couple more. 
one, two. And then can I actually connect, or is it too close? It is too close, but we can connect that way. Okay. There we go. Oh, and I need power. Not going to give me a lot of geothermal power if they don't have electricity. There we go. Okay. That will take care of that. So, our residential demand is staying in the positive. We actually do have people moving in. We're at 73,000. Come on, we can hit that 80,000. I think it was about four episodes I said, oh yeah, we're going to hit 80,000 this episode. And, well, that didn't happen, did it? <laughs> oh, that's, that's a nice looking... Oh, oh. Let me pause, because I like the color in the sky there. Oh, that looks really nice. I'm going to get a screenshot of that, too. There we go. Okay. All right, I like how that is kind of the, what everybody sees when they come into the city. Oh, there's a whole bunch of people. <laughs> I like how everybody's clustered right here. There's like nothing else to see. Just stand right there in that cluster. Okay, people. Move along. Nothing to see here. Okay, so uh, we have a lot of commercial demand and some office demand. Uh, over here in Tempest Key... Um, we put in some commercial and office that filled in really quick. I also had some residential. It's it's filling in slowly. It's taking its time. What I would really like to see is that power to jump across here, but that would require, I guess, I'd have to put down um, a couple corner shops. And actually, it just occurred to me, I really should probably get some. Uh, mass transit down this way. Um, I do have that metro line going down. I can drag this one down. So how about I do that? I bring that metro line and I put it right here. So let's give ourselves the curvy one. Go like that. Here. And we'll just go right into that. There we go. Oh. I didn't mean to hit escape. It's a habit. Okay, I'm going to pause because I always pause when I move lines. Put these two stops back. I like how it's right under that building. So it's basically in the basement of that building. I like that. It would be really nice if you could get buildings like that in this game. Um, that you didn't have to take those four tiles just for a subway stop. Speaking of subway stops, a long time ago I put down that corner, Kitty Corner Station. And I'm curious how well it's doing, but I don't remember where I put it. Was it this one? Um, yeah, it was. Right here. So we have, yeah, look at that. So, uh, yeah, people are using that. That's kind of cool. I like that. They don't have to cross the street. Well, okay, they had to cross a minimum of one street to get to it. So yeah, that works out really well. I like that asset. Thank you for the creator. Uh, auto save. Auto save. Um, it doesn't say who did it, but it's a it's a it's a neat asset. I like it. Okay. So anyhow, we're still doing fairly good. Seventy-five hundred people almost. Or did I just jinx myself by rounding up? Um. I really want to get my, my International Airport, Knight Helm International, right over here. I want to get it. So in preparation for that, how about I replace this with the turbine interchange? Now this is going to be interesting because the land is really weird over here. Well, not weird. It's just that it's not flat. Let's go ahead and pull out the bulldozer. We're going to put in another turbine interchange. There we go. We're going to do a little bit of landscaping and preparation. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to flatten this out. We'll smooth out those edges in a bit. So it doesn't look quite as silly. I'm going to take this way back here. Okay. Let's go ahead and find the interchange. There it is. And get it right in there. 
So I'd like to have it, if possible. So it needs to go just a little bit like that. Okay. If guideline, if road guidelines could be enabled. Actually, I do want to curve it a little bit. Here we go. So up a little bit. Uh, eyeballing it. I think that's good right there. Okay. Now we'll get our actual freeways connected to it. So we want from here to here. Here we go. Oh, up. That should not be an elevated piece. So we'll do the trick of, there we go. I don't know why it took me so long to re figure that one out, but anyhow. Okay, over here we've got hovering cars. Look at that. Uh, what happened? Oh my gosh. We're just flying in the air now. Okay. Um, will it look okay if, no, I'm gonna put a curve in there. Now, to take care of this again, go ahead and upgrade that so it's along the ground. And then we can use Move It to make things a little bit better so it doesn't look quite as goofy. I can bring that up a little bit and take this down just a little bit. There we go. Okay. That's good. Now we connect over here. This could probably be just straight segments. Yeah, that could just be straight segments. So I got that fairly good. Yet again, let's do this. Oh no, I thought that was an elevated piece. Never mind. Okay, get rid of that. Use move it. Smooth this down just a little bit. Take that down just a little bit and bring this up just a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then finally get the landscape and smooth. Make this brush very large and just kind of smooth that out so it doesn't look quite as ridiculous. And boom, we have a new interchange. Let's see how the traffic deals with all that. Ah, they just flew to the ground. Okay. And then finally, I am going to do... These are a little bit closer than I would like, but alas, that is how it, will wor it works. Okay. And then between episodes, if I remember, I'll go ahead and I'll do my lane uh, connectors there. So we're prepared for our airport. I'm not going to actually do the roads over here yet. But literally, I think this side right here is literally just going to go straight to the airport. And what I would like to have it do is I'd like to just come in and then just do a loop and just come right back out. And that is all that this exit is. It doesn't go to anything else. Um, it is a dedicated exit just for the airport, which kind of makes sense. So um, I don't want any surface roads connecting to it. Okay. Um, let's take a look while we're over here. How's Copper District doing? Eh, 3,300 in our forest. 900, we still don't have any paper coming in, but it is spitting some out, 3,300. Um, how are we doing? We're going to need some more workers to get that up, though. So I can probably get some barracks in there. Let's go ahead and do that. I think I can get barracks. Nope. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, forestry workers, barracks. So let's go ahead and put those... Um, we're going to need some more roads. Um, and I have a cat blocking my monitor at the moment. So, I have no idea what I'm, what I'm actually doing at the moment because... Um, okay, I'm trying to build a freeway, apparently. Just remember the mantra, cat owners. You had to sit there as your cat is destroying everything and doing stupid things. Just remember the mantra. I love my cat. I love my cat. I love my cat. Just remember to repeat that. It doesn't have to be true, but okay. I do love my cats. 
All right, so that brings in some people. That brings in 70. And that almost gets us there. We'll come back to that later. Bright, sunny day in the winter. Crisp, clean air with that sun just bouncing off the snow, making everything look so pristine. Yes, uh, we've got this going, so we can actually get rid of this. There we go. Okay. So yeah, Tempest Quay, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. We're doing, we're still at 7,600. So we're, we're, we're getting people in. What's my overall happiness? Um, there is no way to see overall happiness, is there? 99, 79, 100, 100. I, I, you know what? I, I just give up on commercial and getting it at anywhere above 80. You know, I don't see anything but blue. You know, the occasional little house that's new. But for some reason, they're only 80% happy. Okay. Whatever. So. Uh... What else can we do? How's we got Hyperion Way? We went entirely to up. Oh, actually, we missed one little bit. We've got some holdouts down here. I don't know how I missed that. <laughs> Boom. Okay. All right. So we're gonna lose a, a couple people for that. That also impacts some of our education levels, of course, because. All those educated people, they just leave. They don't come back for some for some unknown reason. But we're doing really well on schools. Very well. So, 47% highly educated. Okay, yeah, the only red that you saw was the new houses over there. Um... Yeah, okay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of drifting all of a sudden here. <laughs> uh, we still have to get this freeway, so I've left a little bit of space here. I just realized I built some stuff here that will eventually get bulldozed. But yeah, this freeway, I will come through eventually. Um, what should I put here? Because these are all going to have to move. I mean, I already have a giant park. Oh, a zoo. Where would a zoo go? You know what? Maybe... A zoo. Where would a, a good spot for a zoo be? Hmm. Right here? No, I want a zoo to be near, uh, large enough that it has... It has to be big because it, I want water. Because there's a water feature for the zoo. So, a uh, zoo. Zoo, zoo, zoo. A zoo. Maybe right here. I think this would be a good spot for a zoo. Yeah. How about that? We got the track on one side that uh, kind of borders it on that side. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and see if we can get a zoo going here. Um, what we'll do for a zoo is... Do I want an entrance off of here? Um, actually, that's a really big... What I should probably do first, if I'm going to do the zoo, and I was talking about a water feature, I guess the first thing I should do is actually build the um, spot where the water is going to be. So let's go ahead. It's really deep there. But okay. Um, let's go ahead. We'll just build in kind of a a lake area. Because there's that marine exhibit for the zoo. I need to leave enough space for to get around it. So I think this is big enough for it. I don't want it to be square. I'd like it to be a little bit organic in appearance. There we go. Um, this is not part of the vanilla game, being able to add water sources. is, yeah, sometimes you have to do that. Okay, and I'm going to put it, and then I'm just going to go ahead and we'll bring it. I am not going to take it to the top, though, yet. I'm going to let it fill that. I don't want it to flood my city. You can very easily flood your city. Actually, I think you remember the Great Flood of Paladin Park, um, but that was not with a water source. 
Why does that look nasty? Ew, it looks like... Like, you know, 1970s Lake Erie. <laughs> well, anyhow. Okay, let that fill in. And that's where we're going to have a zoo. Uh, so now that we got that going, let's go ahead and put a road somewhere nearby. So, you know, all a lot of the exhibits here. So actually, that is going to be pretty much it. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll zone it out as a park. So, zone as a park. Give me the big giant. I am doing park, right? Yeah. Right up to the freeway. Spring Meadows. And then we'll take Spring Meadows. And whatever this is off of the freeway. There we go. Okay. And go ahead and we're going to put our zoo main entrance. And we're just going to plunk it right in the center. Boom. Okay. We do not have a lot to start with in the zoo, but that's fine. If we had everything at the beginning, that would be kind of boring. Um, I'm going to go straight out to start with. Actually, I'm just going to go straight out to right there, just because. And that, that made it elevated. I don't want it to be elevated. So let's do this again, but we're going to have to somehow force it to not be um, okay here's what I have to do I have to cheat I have to go to here then here then back then to this there we go okay now it'll be at ground level and then somewhere over here this is where my uh, marine life exhibit will go even though that's like level five for the park let's take care of the water and other infrastructure needs So, go ahead and do that. Oh, got to be a little bit closer. No, nope, a little bit closer. Nope, still a little bit closer. There we go. Oh, I should have just went right off of that one. Oh, well. Ah, uh, we'll just go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. My OCD kicks in a little bit here. I can't have that. So, okay. And then... Oh, I already have one over here, so I'll follow this one. I don't know what, why there was a node there, but anyhow, okay. All right, we got that painted. Excellent. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and it needs power. Well, we'll just grab some power from this person's. We'll just plug into their their. Uh, outlet in the back deck there and run over okay let's go back here so now I'm gonna plunk down just a couple of the services so the first thing you would probably want is uh, the souvenir shop you always got to have the souvenir shop right there as soon as you get in and of course everybody needs restrooms too so let's go ahead and we'll put some restrooms in right there we have a cafe, right? Yes, we do. So we'll put the cafe in. Actually, we'll put, just to give a little bit of space between the cafe and the restrooms. There we go. We'll put in that. We'll leave a space, just enough space for a um, walkway. And then one thing I am going to do while I'm thinking about it, we're going to give them some parking. Um, which is going to go right where that whatchamacall was, those power lines. But yeah, let's put a parking lot here. I don't know if the Sims actually use it for parking, but I like the idea that there's a parking lot. 
Um, it just makes it look um, like it should be there. And what the heck? Why is everything like that? Okay, you need to be the same height as that. There we go, okay. All right, and now I have a cat laying on my keyboard. My overlap cat. All right, well, we've got our humble beginnings of our of our zoo. What else can we put in the zoo? Uh, we should probably put down some actual zoo things, right? So we have the moose and reindeer, we have the birdhouse, and we have the antelope enclosure. Now, some of these have... Um, it's kind of weird. They already have walkways attached to them. I'm going to space these out a little bit. Like, I think this one, yeah, has uh, walkways already. So you just kind of plunk it down and then attach it later. It's kind of backwards from the other ones. I'm going to put it over here. Behind, oh wait, no, I wanted that space. So yeah, we'll put it like right there. And then we'll connect, come on, from here to here. And from here to, there's good, okay. Excellent, okay. So we have our first beginnings of a, of a little humble zoo. Yay, okay. All right, well, anyhow, and uh, you know, we need a, a, a name for the zoo, right? Um, that's odd. There's no name. Huh. Um, there's like no name. Well, there it is! 80,000, folks! We did it! We got the Megaopolis. That's excellent. That just kind of crept up on me. I wasn't even paying attention. Maybe if I uh, had actually... Uh, you know, maybe it's because I wasn't paying attention that it happened. So, excellent, we did it, we have our monuments, we have, uh, uh, you know, everything that, uh, we, we've unlocked everything now. So there we go, excellent, we are at the, uh, we are officially a Megaopolis. Yay! So, uh, I'm going to end the episode there on that high note. That's a high note for me. Yay! Okay. Um, and... In our next episode, we'll work on that international airport, and we're going to work on getting our zoo uh, upgraded a little bit more, too. So, uh, folks, if you enjoy the episodes, if you like what you're seeing, if you would like me to try something new, or, you know, there's something you'd like to see me try, let me know in the comments below. Um, because now that we're at the 80,000 mark, my real only goal at this point, I want to get to... Yeah, maybe about a hundred thousand, maybe one hundred fifty, and then uh, I don't know. Um, you know what kind of things would uh, you know as the viewers would you like to see happen in the city? Um, because left to my own devices, uh, it might not be what you know. Uh, all of you are looking forward to, so. Uh, I'm just kind of rambling again, so I'm going to end the episode. <laughs> so, everybody, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button um, and subscribe. I will be putting out episodes every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, there might be a break coming up in uh, February, but uh, I do plan to keep going. And leave, uh, like I said, any comments below. So thanks again, everybody. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care and bye.